Moto, photo, hiking. I can't say it enough. This area of Nova Scotia is just always water. So close to the water. So different than the first half of the Cabot Trail. I was wondering, why am I here? Why am I riding this damn thing? Get off the Cabot Trail and ride around Nova Scotia. We're in the Southwest. This is what you get. You come off the road, you see this. You're riding on the road, you see this. It's just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. An apt word for this coastline in Nova Scotia. We are on a moto photo adventure to apparently the ovens. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes in, 30 minutes out. Steve has made the executive decision to not participate. I don't blame him at all. We're all wearing motorcycle boots. But Jason, Chris, and myself are gonna go see how great this looks. And so far, the view just going there. This is gorgeous. We're walking, walking right along the cliff. It's fantastic. You can see through the trees. There's plenty of openings to look at. Quite a great way to spend an afternoon. If I wasn't with these guys, this is what I would primarily do. I love to stop, not at every overlook, but at a lot of them, whenever I'm on a trip, either in the car, the camper, or on the motorcycle. I wanna stop and I wanna see that. I don't wanna pass it on the bike. I don't want to wonder what's over that overlook. When I see an opening, I want to stop. And that right there is what I want to go and see. If I have to hike an hour to see it, even better. Well, one thing I can tell you, Chris yeah. delivers. If Chris says, do you want to go take a look at, my recommendation is to say, yes, Chris. Yes, I do want to go take a look at that. I have yet to be disappointed, and this is day seven. Again, this is one of those things. I don't know that I would have found it on my own. And uh, little dirt road, five minutes out of your way. Excellent sight to see. Chris would like all of us to know he found the camp spot. 
<laughs> so yes, Chris found yet another great campsite. We have spent all week in great campsites with amazing views. Even this one, while we're no longer at the coast, we're in the middle of a forest all by ourselves. The only downside seems to be that Jason broke the water in the bathhouse. It wasn't me. Was it working when you got there? I got one flush out of it. One flush and he killed the whole bathhouse. But that's okay, we'll survive. That might be a, a badge of honor. <laughs> Yes, Jason Bennett takes down an entire bathhouse. You know, you got to have goals. Woo, I didn't know that was anybody's goal. It should be. All right, that's it. Thank you, Chris. You got us to all of these. Thank you for drive, riding really fast to get us here before dark. I wasn't going that fast. You were doing great. It was awesome. I'm not criticizing. I'm the, glad you were going that fast. I used the 10% rule. I mean, honestly, I'm blaming Chris. We've been following Chris all week, and the signs on the side of the road say 80, 90, 100, and 110. And we're never doing more than 85. 110, we could have gone faster. All right, I'm out of here. Good night.